Do you like a traditional boiled dinner? I'm your personal chef, Mike Moses. Maybe you haven't had one. Well, I'm here to change all that. The traditional corned beef and cabbage, or the New England boiled dinner, is what's on the menu today. And it is actually two meals in one. And we're gonna start cooking right now. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the thumbs up icon, and if you'd like to be notified of more of these, please subscribe. I add a new video every Sunday. You've seen these packages of meat and brine at the local grocery store. Being from Nova Scotia, it can only mean one thing, a boiled dinner, and the next day, a corned beef hash. Many think that corned beef and cabbage originated in Ireland. But the corned beef made it an American dish with the influences from the Irish, American, Jewish communities. Combining brisket with potatoes, cabbage, turnip, and carrots, the corned beef and cabbage originated in the Manhattan ghettos. Today, this meal is enjoyed all over North America, with New England claiming it as the room. The beef is cured in a salty brine and pickling spices. To avoid a super salty meal, something that has turned many people off this dish, I'll show you how to have a tender beef and a broth you can enjoy with your meal. Want to know how to do it? Keep watching. Here's what we'll need. Three pounds of corned beef, four medium carrots, two pounds of potatoes, one small turnip, two diced onions, one head of cabbage cut in quarters, and one big pot for cooking. Our brisket. And I'll show you how to prepare that brisket right now. This is our brisket. See, it's 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 good sized brisket. What we're gonna do is drain the liquid and bring it back. Okay, now that we've got our brisket basically drained of all the liquid, we want to trim off some of the fat because usually there's a fat cap on these. And as you can see right here, we have a fat cap. Just be careful when you remove the fat. You don't want to get a lot of meat, you just want to take off most of the fat. So it's quite a fat cap on this bad boy. It's all right just to make it a little leaner. It also helps to get rid of some of the silver skin. So now our brisket is all trimmed up. Piece here. Ready to go into the pot. In the pot. And I'm gonna fill the pot up to be about one inch over the brisket. This is a big brisket. Temperature is at 90 degrees Celsius or about 195 degrees Fahrenheit. We want to keep it just under the boiling mark. If we do that, our brisket's going to cook, the salt's going to leach out of this first 30 minute cook, and it's not going to shrink, so you're going to have lots of meat. Anyhow, 90 degrees, cover the brisket, back in 30 minutes. After 30 minutes of simmering, discard the water and then cover the brisket with fresh water about an inch over the meat. Now that you have a nice simmer going, leave this for about three hours, keeping an eye on the level of the water. You don't want your brisket to come out of the water. You can put a bowl or a plate on top of the meat to keep it from floating. Let's get the veggies ready. Let's peel the carrots with a peeler, removing the outer skin. Then, chop the carrots into about two inch pieces. Peel the potatoes with a knife to remove any eyes or blemishes that are usually found in the winter potatoes. Then, 
Then cut into quarters. You can see here the sizes you need. I'll cut up the turnip, peeling the outer skin to get to the inner flesh, and then chop up into slightly smaller pieces than the potatoes. If you remember the Brussels sprout reference to small cabbages in my last video, this is a big one, and you want to peel the other leaves off, then quarter the cabbage. I like to leave the stalk in the middle, so that the cabbage does not fall apart during the cooking process. Two and a half hours into the cooking of the brisket, add your root vegetables first. The potatoes, carrots, and turnip. These will take about an hour to cook. After 20 minutes or so, add your onions and cabbage. Cover and let this simmer until your time is up. Check your vegetables with a fork to see if they are done. If the fork slides into the core of the cabbage, you're ready to eat. Remove the vegetables from the pot and put in separate bowls, being careful not to break them up. For the cabbage, you can remove the core now. For your brisket, remove and let drain on a plate, then put it on a cutting board. You can put your vegetables back into the pot to keep them warm. You'll want to slice the brisket against the grain, just like this. We'll put some brisket in a large shallow bowl, about three slices, then add a few potatoes, some carrots and turnip. If the onions sneak into the mix, don't worry, this just adds more flavor and texture. And there is your traditional boiled dinner. The other part of this dish, if there is anything left, is a corned beef hash for breakfast. Chop all your veg and corned beef into one quarter inch bits and fry until you get a crust on the potatoes and beef, constantly moving around in the pan to prevent if you like this recipe, please leave a comment and a like. And if you'd like to see a particular recipe or topic, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be putting new content on this site weekly. And if you want more information, you can head over to the personalchef.blog where you can print the recipes presented here and I add new content every other day. Thank you for watching. I look forward to helping you eat healthier, shop smarter, and cook better.